All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. And today I got another really good one for us. So when I first got into looking into multicolor 3D printing, um, you know, I looked at the Mosaic palette, which has a four color and an eight color system. And I looked at adding that to my Creality, which I thought was a giant waste of money because the Creality was so crap. Um, which got me looking into uh, alternative uh, 3D printers. Um, and mainly the Voron came to the top of the list. And then I found the Bamboo Labs, which obviously we all know what I chose from there. Um, but I will say that those were really the only two viable options that I saw at that time. Uh, meaning that if we take a look at that now, that means that the Mosaic Palette is the only AMS alternative, which I know isn't true. Um, but I haven't done a whole lot of research on it. So the other day I was at um, the Rocky Mountain 3D print festival here in Colorado, here in Northern Colorado. And I got to see uh, firsthand another AMS alternative called 3D Chameleon. And I actually got to meet Bill from 3D Chameleon and have him do a presentation on that multicolor 3D print system. Um, so what this would be good for is an AMS alternative. It is a uh, lower price than the AMS. Um, it does have some features that the AMS doesn't have, or maybe not features, but the speed of change of color definitely is a difference in the AMS. Um, but the other thing that this could be really good for is I have that old crap uh, Creality 3D printer. Why not put a you know, a multicolor system on it or something like that. So I haven't actually bought one. I don't have one here. Uh, leave me a note in the comments and, and let me know if you think I, I should buy one or work with Bill to get one and, and see what that would look like on a separate 3D printer. Um, but I thought it would be good for everybody to see it. And we will see a video with it working on the bamboo. And it's not my bamboo, it's Bill's. Um, but we will get to see it on action in, on an X1C. But I could consider this on, you know, if you have a second printer or a print farm, or for those of you guys that are doing a whole lot of printing, um, this may be a good alternative for your non-bamboo printers um, to add that multicolor or multi-material support. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax. I'll get everything ready. All right, so here we are on the 3D Chameleon website, and I think the first thing that you'll notice is Bill does not have the marketing budget that uh, Mosaic or Bamboo has. Um, so we'll see that his website may not be as flashy as the other uh, companies out there, but keep in mind this is a very small company, and um, we can see that all of the profits are going to uh, making new products. So you can see MK2 to MK3. So not having a super flashy website's not always a bad thing. Um, after we meet Bill here in a minute, I think we can cut him some slack on uh, not having a flashy website like uh, Mosaic or Bamboo. But we can see some examples of some multicolor prints here. This is the new system, and you'll see $199. Um, so that is a significant price cut from the Mosaic as well as the AMS. Um, and this, you know, for a lower cost printer, you know, $200 isn't a lot to uh, throw in there to make it a four color uh, kit there. And he does ship internationally. Here's all the package sizes and even... Um, you know, shows the upgrades from his old ones to the new one. Um, so this is the website here. There's a frequently asked questions. Uh, there's complete instructions here. He has videos on the instructions and everything. Uh, here's the G code that you'll need to input in there. He also has a forum with questions and answers. <clears throat> he has his email. He let me know, uh, when we talk to him, I believe he gives us his email address as well. I'll leave it in the uh, description for you if you want to reach directly out to him. Uh, real nice guy. I would imagine he'll be super friendly and very receptive to answering any questions. And then he also has a video here. I think this is an Ender, uh, Ender clone where he shows 
you know, the installation and everything like that. And again, let me know in the comments if you'd like me to uh, work with Bill or to purchase one of these and uh, go through it and give you my take on, on it. <clears throat> After we talk to Bill here at the uh, event, I'll go over my my impressions of it and the good, bad, and ugly of it that I, that I would see there. Um, so without further ado, let's turn it over to Bill and have him show us the 3D Chameleon in action. Hi, I'm Bill with 3D Chameleon. And this is the 3D Chameleon on the Bamboo Lab X1C. So the 3D Chameleon is a four color changer that's kind of universal. It works on any printer. And just to prove that, we put it on the X1C here. It's a four color changer. You can see we have the Y adapter. Now, some people will look at that and say, oh, I don't want the Y adapter there. That's okay. You can also have it on the outside of the printer. Um, but the idea here is that uh, we're loading and unloading the filament. Here you can see the purple filaments here. The red's actually loaded in. The way this works is the tool change G code simply commands the machine to come over and press the button. And by pressing the button, we'll see the filament unload. And re I, I accidentally pressed it for command one. Let me switch it to two, two. One, two. So now we'll unload one and we'll reload number two. And there you can see it loading the filament. The beauty of this setup is that that entire color change took about 10 seconds. Whereas on the AMS, um, we, we're talking, we've been talking about it for a while now. It would still be working on the first color change, right? So the, the nice thing about this is that you get significantly faster color changes than you do with the stock AMS. Uh, it's also 150 bucks cheaper. So <laughs> uh, the other nice thing about this is that you can then take it off and put it on any other machine because it is a universal system. So 3dchameleon.com. And feel free to send me any questions or comments that you have on that. Bill at 3dchameleon.com. Thanks, Bill. All right. So as you can see, Bill, super nice guy. That was a really cool introduction to it and um, showing how it does the color changes. I think that's one of the you, you know big things between the AMS and the 3D Chameleon <clears throat> is it does seem to do color changes much, much quicker there. Um, so that looked really cool on there. Um, so that's kind of the good, right? It looks like you can do four color prints. Looks like everything works really well. He was, I was there for a while and he was printing on that thing and showing all kinds of people that same presentation. And it seemed to work very, very well <clears throat> throughout the day that I was there at the conference. Um, so that's the good. Let's get into what I would consider the bad and the ugly. And you'll see this picture here of Bill showing how to install everything here. Um, so this could be a good or a bad or an ugly, depending on what type of 3D print person you are. Um, so with the AMS, you kind of plug that thing in and you go. I believe the palette is similar to that where it's a fairly plug and play. This is going to have some assembly required and it's going to take some tinkering to get it to work. Now, how much tinkering you'll have to do afterwards, I don't know. That's why I might get one of these um, and see what that looks like on a different printer. Because if you don't have to tinker with it so much after building it, then that might not be so bad. And if you're looking for projects to uh, tinker with and you have the time to do that and and have more time to invest than like a hobbyist like myself, um, then this would be perfect for you, right? This, this would be perfect. And this would be a good, great, awesome feature for you. But if that's not what you're looking for, right, that could be considered a good or not a good, but a bad or an ugly, right? If you don't have the time or the patience or the wherewithal to do all of the tinkering that you're going to have to do to get it working here. Um, so this is a, you know, about a 40 minute video here that he's going over the Elagu, which I think is an Ender clone. This looks a lot like my Creality. You know, these are all kind of, kind of the same thing there. Um, so that was the one thing that I wanted to say after seeing it in action and everything is that there might be um, a bit of a learning curve on using this. I, I don't know how you would put it into the slicer. That'd be another thing that I'd like to 
uh, do a video on is how do you actually put all the different colors in the slicer? Can we use that Orca slicer with it, for example? Can we use the Bamboo Studio? Because it works on more than just, um, you know, the Bamboo Labs printers and stuff. Um, so it might be interesting to do a follow-up video on this um, and do all of those things. Um, but that I just wanted to give you guys my feedback and what I saw at the uh, Rocky, Routen, Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Show, which was the 3D print festival that we had here. And this was the thing that, that stood out the most to me, and I thought that you guys might find useful. Um, so with that... You know, that's my thoughts on it. I think it'd be a great alternative um, if you want to tinker with something. Um, and it might be a great way to uh, up your game on one of your cheaper printers or something like that. So I hope everybody enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. And uh, have a great weekend. Bye, everybody. Bye.